Now that's two on each side. It has independent double wishbone suspension and these are actual local Australian made Iron Man foam cell shocker. 33 inch mud terrain tyres, complete underbody covers, 12 inch electric drum brakes, Hi guys, it's Daniel here from Conqueror 4x4 and I'm here with a fabulous UEV14 and what we're going to talk about is the capability of this unit. I think um, it's really important to understand where Conqueror came from, what our roots are and how extremely capable we are off-road. You could be mistaken for thinking it's a luxury camper because if you haven't seen our videos, we've got videos on storage, interior, bedding, kitchen, and it's an absolute pleasure to enjoy time in this UEV 14. But let's not get away from the fact that it's an extremely capable off-road trailer. Now the thing I like about something as capable as a UEV 14 is like any really capable piece of equipment, if your equipment's capable, you don't need to be too capable yourself. So if we talk about towing first, towing's a really important part of the initial connection um, with your trailer. Um, on average, a UEV 14 weighs about 2.3 tonne. Uh, you'll tend to find towing any off-the-shelf ute or four-wheel drive or anything that has a three-tonne towing capacity, which most things today do. In fact, some are three and a half, some are four, some are 4.5. On a normal three-tonne towing, you'll be able to tow this like an absolute dream. There's a couple of reasons why. It all starts with the DO35 on the front. A DO35 is a very capable piece of equipment that has 360 degree articulation and it has a unique pin. The thing I really like about the DO35 is there's a simple piece of um, highlighted strip when you're reversing up. That always helps to know where your pin goes in. But once your pin goes up through the middle there, then it just locks into place. Once it locks into place, a smart design with the DO35 is the cover will actually not secure on unless you have it in the lock position. So once you come and listen, the DO35 pin comes with the UEV14 and on delivery of the unit, we just take off the ball that might be on your existing vehicle. We put in the DO35 pin and off you go. It runs a seven pin flat and it's got a standard Anderson plug as well. And as you can see, there's quite a little bit of length here as well, which is gonna allow you when you're going around trails or tracks or even turning really tightly into a car parking space, it's gonna give you that little bit of leeway without putting pressure on the cables. And I have seen cables from other trailers be ripped clean off the trailer in if you've got the wrong angle. There's a breakaway as well and a breakaway is standard on the vehicle. And that means obviously, as the name insinuates, if it does for whatever reason break away, not only do you have the chains and look at the size of these chains, you also have a breakaway which is gonna apply the brakes and it's gonna stop the actual unit um, from progressing. The handbrake is a manual controlled handbrake. Uh, one really great feature of this handbrake is that you can actually adjust it from the front and um, if you need to, if, it, if you feel that it's a little bit loose, grab yourself a spanner, tighten it a little bit, go with the feel of it and you know, you can feel when a handbrake's nice and tight. The rear adjustment, you need to bring it to us for servicing or to your Conqueror specialist for servicing because you won't be able to do that yourself. But when it comes to the front, little, little adjustments as you're using the trails or you're using the trailer a little bit more can be something that can be quite good for you. We have an arc jockey wheel here. It's a dual wheel, very capable bit of equipment. And the good thing about the arc, it just clicks up out of the way once you've got your tow vehicle applied, cross your chains and you're off and racing. You can tell just by the sheer brute force of the look of the front of this, even though the cabin has very soft finishes that we've been through, the brute force here is actually justified. This is five mil thick steel. It's hot galvanized dipped, which means this thing will never rust. It is as strong as an ox. I can tell you right now, the rear of your tow vehicle will be ripped a fair away from the cabin before this will fail you. It is as strong as can be. I have had the privilege of full driving in these and pulled them really hard over rocky trails. And I'm telling you now, it'll just keep pulling. It'll never let you down. And you can tell just by the look of it alone. One thing about the vehicle, it's actually got quad shocks. Now we got one of these out to show you the actual size of the shocks. It's got four of these. Now that's two on each side. It has independent double wishbone suspension. And these are military grade shocks. These are fitted to military vehicles overseas and these are actual local Australian made Iron Man foam cell shocker. 
Why do we have four of them? I've got to tell you, when you're towing the vehicle, let's talk about getting to your destination. Usually you're on a freeway, 100, 110, whatever it may be. This sits behind you like an absolute dream. Then when you do happen to get somewhere, if you've got, um, if you're on a trail, if you're going off road, um, the independent suspension along with these shockers means you are coming home. It's a very, very capable vehicle, as you can tell by that. If we scoot across here, We've got 33 inch mud terrain tyres. There's three of these, so you have two on the actual unit of course, and you've got a spare one on the back if something should happen. When we go under, and it's really hard because you actually can't get under it um, with this view to see what's going on, but you've got complete underbody covers. And let's talk about some of the smart designs that Conqueror's put into it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab something like water. So you've got a couple of water tanks under here that are independent of your grey water. You've got an 80 litre and you've got a 120 litre fresh water tank. Two separate independent tanks with a valve that swaps between the two. Now those tanks actually have steel guard that go around them and it's designed for underbody protection because you don't want to pierce your tank because let me tell you, you pierce your tank, your water's gone, you'll be going home pretty quick. But in the off chance, if you happen to hit a, a really uh, sharp rock or you go over and you misjudge something, and let's just say worst case scenario, one of your tanks has been ruptured and you've got water coming out and you've lost your entire tank of water, well that's okay because you've got a second tank. Now, if you rupture your 120, you got your 80. If you rupture your 80, you got your 120. I know that when I when, when I do go off-road, what I tend to do, if I don't need 200 litres of water, because it's a lot of weight, it's 200 kilos, and it's a lot of water. If I'm going away for a weekend, I do not need 200 litres of water. But what I might do is I might put 50 litres in one and 50 litres in the other. So I'm, I'm riding with 100, and um, but it's not exactly 80-20, it's 50-50. But it's a really good underbody protection. You have 12 inch electric drum brakes. That's some serious size and serious stopping power. Um, we've done brake testing on these units. They stop on a whim. You need to have an electric brake controller in your car, of course, but once you do, you plug it straight in. This thing is gonna stop behind you. And remembering, it's not too heavy. It's a serious bit of equipment, but it's weighing in on average at 2.3 tonne, depending on what you put into it. So you've still got plenty. There's a lot of trailers that are a lot heavier than that with 10 inch brakes. So having 12 inch electric drum brakes is an absolutely fabulous feature. Um, down the bottom here is all designed and painted in steel to make sure that the rocks all deflect um, as you're going through the trials because you're going to get rocks that are going to slap up and hit the side of the, um, of the unit. And when you go across towards the back, as we showed on a previous video, everything is secured. So you've got pins, latches, nothing on here is coming off. So in summary, please understand Conqueror's history is the military tough trailer originally designed for military conditions and for the military in South Africa. The heritage that we come from is military tough and in fact we plaster it on the side of the Conqueror UEV 14. So you get to enjoy the capability of an amazing trailer but also the soft finishing touches, storage, kitchen, amazing awning that you would expect with a luxury trailer. So that's why we call it, it's a hybrid off-road luxury trailer. Anyway, hope to see you out in the trails. If, if you're in one of these, you won't be stuck. I'll be off with you. Have a great day.